A moment ago, we were talking about the 100,000 people or so who have left their homes in Ukraine trying to escape the Russian invasion. We're now going to talk to Stuart McKenzie, who left his home uh, of almost 30 years this morning and has made his way to a Polish border town with his family. Stuart, thanks very much for talking to us. Where, where did you live in Ukraine? Where was home? In Kiev, Kiev itself. I lived a little bit outside the city centre and I lived on the west coast of that, so I was very close to the road to Poland, which was a, a good chance that when we decided to evacuate, we got very quickly on the motorway and ahead of, of many people trying to escape from the city centre. So when was that? When did you actually leave? Um, well, I didn't sleep very much. I could see throughout the whole day things were getting worse and worse, and uh, about four o'clock in the morning, uh, throughout the night, I was looking at my phone and I could see by four that things were getting very, very bad. And I decided to wake up my family. Um, you know, you make these decisions all the time. Should we leave? Should we stay? You know, um, we always, my wife and I always promised if, if anything um, got serious enough that it threatened the children, then that, that's the point we leave. Mm -hmm. And um, I felt that was the time. And luckily enough, for, for, for us, um, my wife and children all agreed that, okay, let's, let's, let's go. Um, we got in the car, we, we were pre-packed. Thankfully, I'd filled the car up the night before and I had a couple of uh, jerry cans full of fuel. I'd done a, 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 a dry run to, to, to Lviv and the Polish border a few days before. So I sort of knew the way and um, et cetera. And, um, yeah, we, we got in the car and then started, we started hearing bombs in Kiev. And, but, you know, if you woke up 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in, in, in the morning, it was already gridlocked to the city centre and you, you were trapped. Can you believe? Can you believe this is happening? Can you believe that you've had to do this? It's, it's just... It, you're still in shock, you know? Still in shock. Mm. What have you left behind, Stuart? It's all right. Honestly, you do not need to say sorry. My brother's still there. Uh, 30 years of life. Oh. But you've done the right thing, you know. You said if there is ever a risk to your children. How old are your kids, Stuart? They're, they're, they're 10, sorry, 12 and 14. I've got another daughter in, the, in America. Yeah. Um, so that, that you're absolutely right. Thank you for getting me back on track. It, it's, um, that was the main thing, you know. We, mm. we're, we're, I'm so happy I got my kids out, but I'm not happy at all. No, of course not, of course not. But you've done in the most awful, awful circumstances, you've done what you think is the right thing for your family. And everybody will make their own decisions, won't they? And that was yours. The, the, the problem is, yeah, you would think, right, but, but it's not even that. Even the people that want to leave, there's no fuel on the roads anymore. There's no, there's no yeah. food anywhere. You know, the border, I, I was ahead of it, most people. And I had a nine hour wait. There'll be 24 hour waits just now. I'm absolutely sure of it. And it's overnight in the cold. Mm. You know, thankfully, anybody that's has got small children are going straight to the front of the queue. But, um, but it still leaves a lot of cars on the road. And, you know, I, I've said to people in Kiev, uh, do not leave the city unless you've, you've actually got everything that you need um, to take wherever you want to go. Mm. Because don't assume you can buy anything like fuel, food, sure. water on, on the road. So where are you staying now? Is it a B and B or something, or what? Um, I have an office in, in Poland. Right. Our main business is in Poland. We have a back office in Kiev. And I, have, I live in Kiev, and that's why we, have, that's why we, we love it there. Um, but uh, so my staff here found, uh, you know, as I was driving, my wife was, you know, it was a sixteen-hour drive. We you were know, in the car. Right? Yeah. It, was, it was it was a long, long day, and, and very emotional. You know, you're trying to think every scenario, you're getting messages all the time from people all around the world, you know, and uh, it was just, you had miles and miles of roads and, and, and it's just everybody's in shock. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, you finally get to a place of safety and 
uh, and it just it just exhausts you. Of you know? course, of course, of course. Well, Stuart, we are, are so grateful that you spoke to us today. Thank you very much, and that we wish you and your kids and your partner all the best, of course. Thank you. Take care.